Uh, tonight's invocation will be given by Councilman Kevin Boone. If you'll please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you tonight with glad hearts for this town and the many blessings you have bestowed upon it, Lord. Be with us as we go through this meeting, Lord, and give us the glad heart and the sound mind to make these decisions based on your will and your will only. Lead God, direct us, Lord, in all that we do. And thank you for the many blessings you've bestowed again on this town. In your heavenly name we pray. Amen. 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 Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Councilman Boone. Uh, I'd like to uh, entertain a motion. Uh, we'd like to add that uh, agenda item to uh, consider adoption of the fee structure approved by the rec board. That will be added uh, as, if, if voted upon by the council, that will be uh, added as agenda item 18, uh, 17. And I would also like to tell you that we will be removing the executive session. That'll take place at a later meeting date. Uh, so if I could ask for a motion to amend tonight's agenda to add the parks and rec uh, fee schedule resolution and to remove the executive session. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor of amending the agenda, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say nay. Okay, the agenda has been amended. Thank you. First order of business will be to approve the minutes of the May 28th regular city council meeting, the work session, and the agenda meetings. Do you have any additions, deletions, or changes to those minutes, council? Make a motion we approve as presented. So moved. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the minutes as submitted. Any discussion? <coughs> okay. Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay, motion carries. Mayor Wilson, your report, please. Thank you. Um, when the city finalized transitioning over to Munis software, the online payment process has been very cumbersome, and we've heard from many of you, but we were kind of stuck in what uh, Munis would allow for that platform. But I'm happy to report that they, um, do ha they have expanded options, and starting in July, uh, you'll be able to smoothly make your payment, and then that information is kept safely and when you go to pay every month, it'll be a lot easier. And want to thank Kim, our city treasurer, for setting that up. Um, I want to congratulate the class of 2020 again. Uh, the ceremony was Tuesday of last week. Uh, the rain held off, and it wasn't even hot, so it was a really nice night. I want to congratulate this class um, because they uh, persevered through a global pandemic and adapted to a new way of learning in the process. So I think that they're going to be successful, hopefully, in the future. A few department updates in recreation. Uh, the rec center is back to normal hours of operation, including Saturday and Sunday. We still uh, are practicing social distancing in the fitness room and sanitizing the equipment every hour. Some of the classes have returned and others are still being done virtually online on their Facebook, so check it out. The nursery is back open and available. Basketball and racquetball are open for individual play only. The indoor pool is back to normal hours. We are still asking that you call to reserve a time to swim because the swim team has started um, back up practicing this week and um, they're allowing a gu the guidelines we have set forth with limited numbers of people in the building and in the lanes. The kids' parks are open normal hours now, including the splash pad. Youth baseball is practicing and plans to resume their spring season on June 15th. And finally, in Parks and Recs, we are hoping to break ground very soon on the improvements at the Rotary Youth Boys and Girls Club, or Fairhope Rotary Youth, um, starting with the outdoor basketball courts. In the Economic and Community Development Department, uh, the City of Fairhope Farmers Market opened Thursday. 
for a reduced season. We had a successful first day and uh, look forward to the next month of Thursdays. You can visit the farmer's market today. Uh, well, I didn't say today. I meant each Thursday from 3 to 6 p.m. It's behind the library. The Fair Hope is open for business campaign is back in full force. The outdoor dining options at the corner of Fair Hope and Section, Bancroft and Fair Hope, as well as in front of the museum and the Welcome Center. Um, you can also take advantage of the 15 minute parking spaces scattered throughout the central business district to pick up your to go orders. We are proud to offer these options for residents and visitors to further patronize our restaurants while also staying in town to shop with our many uh, merchants. Here are some updates for our utilities. Um, you know, there really is nothing visible, you know, when we're talking about these updates, um, but this has been a very important objective um, that I have been pushing since, you know, since I took office. And um, I, I'm really proud of the progress each um, department has made and we're really going full force ahead. Um, the electric department um, work has started on the new substations. Crews are actively working on the Nichols site and will start at the upgrade to Twin Beach soon. In the gas department, all of the required operator qualifications have been completed for the gas department to ensure that our employees are trained and certified to install and maintain the system as safely as possible. Water, we have completed repairs to the wells, one and eight, and are now back to full production of water. And sewer um, upgrades continue for the sewer system after finishing up multiple projects over the last few weeks. The Church Street outfall project will begin soon, and we will update you as this progresses, we ask for your patience, as we always do on these um, upgrades. Um, this lift station, while also improving the drainage system. Please make sure you sign up for Everbridge notifications to stay up to date on all of these upgrades. Typically during rain events, like we had this past weekend, there are much higher chances of SSO activity. Our sewer in infrastructure is not where we want it yet, but we're two years into the making, and um, I can say some positive news that while we, we did have some sewer overflows this past weekend, they, because of the two years worth of uh, work we've done, they are significantly less than we uh, would have had. Um, and lastly, I wanna thank um, everyone for nominating me for Land Yaps Reader's Choice Award for Best Baldwinian right now and hardest working elected official on the Eastern Shore. Thank you so much and that's it. Thank you, Mayor Wilson. Okay, public participation. If you would like to address the council on agenda items, items five through, it would be uh, 17, which is that parks and rec resolution that we added at the beginning of tonight's meeting. If you'll come to the podium and state your name and address for the record. And remember, if you have anything that's a non-agenda item you'd like to approach the council about, if you'll wait till the public participation uh, at the conclusion of tonight's meeting. So agenda items five through 17. Okay, see you know, and I will close public participation for agenda items. And once again, remind you, you'll have another, another opportunity to address council at the end of tonight's meeting. Council comments. Councilman Robinson? Uh, I don't have any comments right now. Okay. Councilman Conyers? Um, just a few comments. Um, been a while since I've had some of my committee meetings due to uh, COVID-19. Looks like the library board is planning on meeting Monday uh, the 14th at 4 p.m. Historic Preservation Wednesday the 16th at 10 a.m. And um, Environmental Advisory Board is looking into doing a, a Zoom meeting. Um, also just wanted to thank all the guys in the utility department for getting out in the storm and uh, making some repairs. I saw several down uh, power lines and some broken poles and uh, they were had crews working on all of them first thing this morning. So much appreciated. Thank you. 
Councilman Brown. Uh, just one little comment. Just excited to see downtown Fairhope and Fairhope in general back alive after the shutdown. So keep it up. Support local. That's it. <laughs> Councilman Boone. Well, let's see. Number two and number four here took care of my stuff pretty much. But I do, we do really appreciate these employees that got out here and did took care of business last night under pretty extreme conditions. So thank you very much. Uh, Mayor, I was going to ask you or, or ask Jessica, what, what, uh, how, how is the outdoor dining coming along or people participating? And I've seen a lot of, looks like a lot of people may be uh, requesting the 15-minute parking. So can you give us a, I know you said it's going to move along. Is there any, any details? That's true. So That's with true. the rain, obviously not that much, but we did see people Friday as we got those tents up, um, you know, kind of going down there and, and utilizing that. We hope to see more of that as the rain clears through this week. Um, speaking specifically about the to-go parking, we've had a great response from restaurants requesting those spaces. Um, and not only that, but there's been, and you, hopefully you've heard it as well, we've had a lot of uh, thanks from those restaurants and those proprietors who are really thankful for that option for their diners and, uh, and to kind of support what they're doing inside. So okay all positive right now excellent okay great thank you okay with that i have no more questions or comments we'll close council comments and move to item five on tonight's agenda this is a resolution that lisa hanks city clerk is hereby appointed to perform all the duties otherwise required to be performed by the mayor per the code of alabama with respect to the municipal election to be held in the city of Fairhope on the 25th of august 2020 and any runoff elections ordered held with respect thereto entertain a motion to approve this resolution second. Second. we have a motion and a second any further discussion okay hearing none all those in favor of the resolution please say aye. aye aye opposed please say nay okay the motion carries thank you council item number six is a resolution that the public improvements indicated herein for the battles trace at the colony phase six are hereby accepted for public maintenance subject to the bond posted and authorizes mayor karen wilson to execute the maintenance and guarantee agreement between the city of Fair Open and the Teachers Retirement System of Alabama, the subdivider. Mr. Johnson, I assume that uh, if we have questions about six, seven, eight, nine, maybe even 10, and then also 11. That would be Hunter. Hunter would take care of which ones? All of those. <laughs> All of those? Oh, the planner? Not the Public Works has to do that? I thought the Public Works had to maintain them. Okay, Hunter. All right, but six through ten. They're, they're they're standard. Standard. Um, you know, nothing, nothing OK. OK. Who's going to speak to the uh, uh, number 10 while well, I got you? OK, I did have you down. You I had PWRJ for that. OK, so I got that one right. All right, council. Can I entertain a motion to um, Accept the public maintenance for the colony phase six. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Okay. Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay, motion carries. Item seven is a resolution of public improvements indicated herein for the verandas phase four are hereby accepted for public maintenance, subject to the bond posted and authorizes Mayor Wilson to execute the maintenance and guarantee agreement between the city of Fair Open and the verandas. We got the right phase on this one, Lisa? This is the correct phase. <laughs> <laughs> you have to come to a lot of council meetings to get that one. All right, I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. All right, motion and a second to accept the public maintenance. Any further discussion? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay, motion carries. Item eight to resolution, the public improvements indicated herein for phase six of Golden Oak at Firethorn are hereby accepted for public maintenance subject to the bond posted and authorizes Mayor Wilson to execute the maintenance and guarantee agreement between the city of Fair Oak and Firethorn development. We'll entertain a motion to accept for public maintenance. So moved. Second. Have a motion and a second. Any questions or comments? Okay. Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay, motion carries. Thank you, Council.
Item nine is a resolution that the public improvements indicated herein for the phase five of the Greenbrier Firethorn hereby accepted are hereby accepted for public maintenance subject to the bond posted and authorizes Mayor Wilson to execute the maintenance and guarantee agreement between the city of Fairhope and Firethorn development. We'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Okay, all those in favor of accepting the public maintenance, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay, the motion carries. Thank you, Council. Item 10 is a resolution to reject all bids for bid number 26-20 for alterations to the Fairhope Municipal Stadium, which would be concerning ADA compliance improvements at the recommendation of the architect of record, Paul Davis Architecture, and the Rec Department. Uh, Mr. White or Mr. Johnson? We received two bids on the project and they were both five times over the budgeted amount. Wow. What's plan B? Plan B is Richard and I are putting our heads together to see what we can do. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions, Council? Okay. I'll entertain a motion to reject all bids. So moved. Second. second. We have a motion and a second to reject all bids. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay. Motion carries. Thank you, Council. Item 11 is a resolution to award a bid for replacement of electronic doors at the Justice Center to Cornerstone Detention Products with a total bid proposal of $168,880. RJ, is that you? I can speak relatively intelligently. Would you like to start? Yeah. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Hey, Jack, I think you got Chief Hollinghead back there. Chief. Okay, Chief, you want to speak to it? I'll volunteer, Chief. Well, either one or both. We've got uh, 10 doors at the jail that are needing to be replaced. Um, these aren't just normal doors. They're, they have to meet sp uh, certain specifications, and we put it out for three bids, and this came, came back as the lowest with Cornerstone. We originally had put $100,000 in the budget for this and did not realize that there's a little bit more that goes into replacing these doors than what, what we had yeah. originally yeah. thought. So what I want to reiterate is it's 68000 over budget, but the budget was probably not the best placeholder for a number. Fair Correct. to say? Fair. Okay. Also, this is getting paid out of the, the jail. The, the corrections funds. Fund. Are the corrections yes. fund. Correction so it's fund. not general budget. Now, how old are those doors? How old is that jail? Oh, 16, 17 so, years? Yeah, it, at least. About is that, that. Is that something they wear out over 16, 17 years? Or no, they're, what they're we found out. Doors. What we found out with they, they were not properly treated and painted whenever they were installed. Gotcha. Okay. Any questions for the chief? Okay. Hearing no questions, I'll entertain a motion uh, to award the bid. So, so moved. moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Yeah, Council, these doors were, when I heard jail doors, I thought they were like actual cell doors. These are exterior doors. Uh, that have deteriorated over time. One, they weren't galvanized. Two, they weren't maintained. So that's why they've deteriorated in 17 years. Okay. Do we have a, you, you don't happen to know what the warranty on these would be, do you? No. Okay. All right. I'll let y'all deal with it in 17 years. Not totally uncommon. Okay. Where are we? We have a motion and a second. A second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say nay. Okay, motion carries. Thank you, Council. Item 12 is a resolution the City of Fairhope approves the procurement of a John Deere Pro Gator utility vehicle for use at Volana Park for the Rec Department. The equipment is available for direct procurement through the Source Well Purchasing Co-op, which has been nationally bid, therefore it does not have to be let out for bid. The cost will be $23,067.20. Jimmy, budgeted? Uh, yep, and under budget. Thousand yeah, that's, a, that's a Richard Johnson trick right there. All right, I'll entertain a motion to purchase the John Deere Pro Gator. So moved. Second. Second. A motion in th that's a rec three seconds right there. Mm -hmm. All right. Any further discussion? Okay. Hearing none, all those in favor of the purchase, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say nay. Okay, the motion carries. Thank you, Council. 
Item 13 is a resolution the City of Fair Oak vote to purchase three Motorola mobile radios, the APX 6000, seven slash 800 megahertz for the new police officers for the police department. This equipment needed is on the Alabama State Department of Purchasing Bid List, therefore it does not have to be let out for bid with a total cost of $10,474.89. I'll entertain a motion to purchase the radios. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say nay. <coughs> okay, the motion carries. Thank you, Council. Item 14 is a resolution. The City Council approves the selection of Government and Economic Development Institute with Auburn University for Professional Consulting Services for the second phase of the Auburn Personnel System Project for the Strategic and Organizational Planning Study and hereby authorizes Mayor Karen Wilson to execute a contract whether or not to exceed amount of $74,989.54. Uh, Kim, Jill, who's going to speak to that? Well, Mayor? I can. I mean, it's, it's based off of the proposal um, that Auburn presented to council, also the uh, personnel board, and I wanted to spread this over three fiscal years. The comp study for uh, the pay grades and job classifications um, will be presented and end in September, but there is another team that can work on this. It was all really one proposal. And so this one is in the 2020 budget, the whole amount, but probably half of it, if not more, will go into 2021. Mayor, is this, uh, is, is there a, is there a phase three or is this, this is the final this phase? Is it. Okay. Three, three years you had spread out, two three, phases. Three over fiscal three years. years. Okay. All right. Great. Any questions? Okay. Council, I entertain a motion to approve the selection. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay, motion carries. Thank you, Council. It's kind of a small item here, number 15. This is authorization of the execution of a subaward grant agreement with the Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources for the Restore Act, the Fairhope Sewer Upgrade Phase 1 project. Uh, you can read the grant number there. An award is in the amount of $10,082,680. All right. Who's going to speak to this one? Uh, Jessica? Okay. And Jessica you should have a speak. handout here as well. Council. Best to this, but this is one of the four awarded projects from Restore. Yeah. So uh, we received the notice of award for this in mid-April. Um, this is just the first step that we've got to accept this award and the subaward grant agreement um, so that we can execute that agreement and begin the process of advertising for the RFP, RFQ for sewer. Uh, so we can begin that long awaited $10 million process. Can we tell them we only have five to spend? Therefore, when the bids come in, we'll have enough money to pay for it? Oh, I don't know. I don't think I can speak to that. I don't think we can do that either. <laughs> Any questions for Ms. Walker? Any at all? Okay. Hearing none, uh, I'll entertain a motion to authorize the execution of the subaward grant agreement. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Okay. Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay. Motion carries. Item 16 is a resolution authorizing the execution of a subaward grant agreement with the Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources for the Restore Act Fair Hope Community Area Community Based Comprehensive Land Use Plan Project. I don't know if I said that right. The ADCNR grant number award, and you see the number there, award is in the amount of $650,000. And I believe that we should all be familiar with this uh, com uh, comprehensive land use plan project. And same thing, Jessica, right? This is just to receive it, and then we put that out for a bid, correct? That's correct. Okay. All right. Council, I'll entertain a motion to uh, uh, authorize the execution of the subaward grant agreement. So moved. Second. second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any questions or discussion? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say nay. Okay. Item 17. Is what was added. Uh, 
Marcus, do you have a resolution drafted there? Contracting issue, and that is per view of council. It has to be done by council, so that one sentence has to be removed from the temporary order. I don't think it'll have any effect since we're going to review all the schedule okay. and everything later, but that has to come out from this temporary agreement. Okay, so council, in the middle of the first paragraph, there is a, almost dead center of that paragraph. There's a sentence that says the city of Fairhope Parks and Recreation Department reserves the right to approve a second 50% discount apply to the balance due and ends on uh, program on behalf of the city. Do you guys see that sentence? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's to be stricken completely. And then on item nine, uh, it, you, uh, the sentence, 80% of the participants strike out our residents of the city of Fairhope and replace those words with reside in the Fairhope school feeder pattern. Oh, okay. That I, I thought you were telling me that that was described. So that needs to be added. Okay. So, yeah. So the about the second or third sentence of the first paragraph it says nonprofit entities from inside the city of Fairhope parentheses as described below. So insert parentheses as described below will be charged one after the reservation rate. So those are the three changes. And the resolution will say, be it hereby resolved by the governing body of the city of Fairhope that the fee schedule and uses agreements approved by the Parks and Recreation Board as amended shall be temporarily adopted pending further review by council and Parks and the Rec Board. I'll entertain a motion to that effect. So, so moved. moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Okay. Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say nay. Okay, motion carries. Thank you, council. Okay, public participation. If you have anything else to bring forth before the council, if you'll come to the podium and state your na name and address for the record. Okay, seeing no one, I'll close public participation and I will ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All right. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor of adjournment, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Okay, we're adjourned. Thank you, Council. That was quick.